You guys, so we are going to do an installation, well, not installation, but uh, assembly of the Triple Shop three-headed bulk candy vending machine from Candy machines.com this is the one with the square tubular stand as opposed to the round black stand um, I will go ahead and tell you one problem that I have had with the installation so far and that is the lack of bolts on the bottom of the base plate there are two bolt holes along with two bolt holes on the square tubular stand and two three-eighths inch one and a half inch hex head bolts are inserted through the bottom. Um, in fact, you can see that they actually wrote in two holes, not one on the manual by hand when they scanned this before they printed it. I'm assuming that I was given one less, but basically you get two of these bolts. Two that go through the bottom of the base plate into the square tube, and then one secures the spill tray. But first things first, if you don't have two bolt hole, two bolt or three bolts, sorry, three of these bolts, go purchase one. But take the base plate, two of these bolts, insert them through the bottom, and thread them into the square tubing. And we're going to start from there. We are going to move the tripod, and from here, we're going to install the steel tray with one of these three eighths bolts with a lock washer as there was also on the base plate. Tighten that down. I'm using a 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench. I really should be using a ratchet and a socket. I really like the pipe stands because it is, uh, it's easier to put it on, in my opinion, to screw the pipe onto the flange. However, they were sold out of pipe stands. there I'm just making sure it's squared up and that looks good all right from there you're going to want to mount the head of the machine so for that you are given four of these flat head screw with a rounded head along with four lock washers and four nuts I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of that hardware now I think that is it. And from there, you are going to bring the head of the machine over to the spill tray. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. You have four holes. And you're going to want to set the machine backwards like that. Open the back door, and you will want to line up the holes on the spill tray with the machine. And there I have it lined up. And you're going to want to come in from the bottom with the lock washer on the screw. From there, you're going to want to tighten down the nut. Actually, sorry, you're going to want the lock washer on the nut side of the screw. I believe that is the case. Yes, lock washer on the nut side. 
I'm gonna go diagonal here. The reason the screw goes from the bottom is so that you can hold it because there is absolutely no way you're gonna get a screwdriver into this machine. You can, however, get a wrench in here to hold the nut. Grab one more washer. And that's it. I'm not gonna tighten those down just to save a little bit of time for you guys so I can get straight to the point. From there, you're gonna to wanna to turn the machine around. open up the lid and now it is time to install the mechanisms all right so let me just adjust my tripod Bear with me for just one moment. And we are looking down into the machine now. So you are given three mechanisms. Um, typically it is two candy and, two, and one gumball mechanism. So we're gonna start with a candy mechanism. Your candy mechanism comes in three pieces. This is your adjustment, depending on what type of candy that you have. And it will come with the tooth on this red line marked here. Depending on the type of candy, you'll have to read your manual on how to adjust it. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. You simply rotate that piece to allow more or less candy. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave it in the stationary spot. And you are going to want to put this down with the adjustment side up. That way it will be easy to adjust once installed. Let me simply get it back in here. From there, this will go on top. You also notice three screw holes, or three notches on here, and three screw holes inside the machine. You're gonna to wanna to align those notches and it's fitted where it cannot rotate here in the machine. And from there you are given a bunch of self-tapping screws with flat heads on them. And you will screw that down. You can see here that the handle works when rotated. And that's all there is to it. Once you screw those down, I would go ahead and do that for you. However, I'm gonna save some time because I think that was just the majority of it there. That is the Candy Machines Triple Shop three-headed candy vending machine. Thank you.